now, um, I would like to uh, introduce another terrific resource, and that is Calscape. So um, we'll go over to Anne Marie Benz, who I think is with us. Yes. So Anne Marie is with Calscape, and Calscape is a database that was developed by the California Native Plant Society to help you discover the plants that are best suited to your property. Using Calscape, you can search by location, plant name, water needs, uh, get detailed plant information and more. And Anne-Marie is with us today from the California Native Plant Society to give you a, us a quick demonstration of how you can search for the best butterfly plants for your own gardening. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Good morning, Kathy. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Doug, for all of that information. We're gonna take a look now at Calscape that had been mentioned earlier. Let me go ahead and go to the Calscape site here for you. So on Calscape, you can get information specific to your exact location, both for your plants and for your butterflies that are available there. I'm gonna run through just a couple of different ways we can look for the right plants for your space and for what you're looking to do. The first is on the home page here, you can go in and I'm going to enter an address in Oakland and get an idea of what all plants might be specific to that area. You can get the general plants, they'll be broken out by all plants, trees, shrubs, perennials, all the different kinds of ways you may want to look for one. Butterfly hosts, you can click on butterfly hosts from there and kind of go down and see the whole variety of plants. Or if you want to get really specific for your location, you can go over to our screen share, over to our advanced search, and you have your address in there. And let's say I need partial shade on my location and I need very easy care. I know myself, I'm not gonna do this all that often very well. And I want a butterfly garden. So I go to that, check my parameters, and ask it to search. And it will give me very specific ones for my location for the different parameters on my site. And then it'll give you an idea of the plants. And you can click on a plant and the plant and scroll down, and it'll tell you about the plant, what type it, how do you care for it, what does it need, landscaping information. Um, but even better for looking for butterflies, you can go to our top here and click on butterflies. And you put in your address again. And here are the 365 butterflies and moths that are native to my area. And I can click on what kind of butterfly I might want to know more about and to know what kind of plants they would be looking for. First off, we've got these beautiful pictures of the different kinds. And then you can look at the host plants for that type of butterfly specific to your area. And you can click on the host plants to learn a little bit more about what are the right ones to really plant for your butterfly garden. Here we've got a pearly everlasting. We've got the photos. You can read more about it. You can see how big it's going to get, what type of form you're gonna have, how quick it's gonna grow. You're going to see when it's when and how it's going to flower. It's got a whole variety of butterflies and moths that are interested in it. You can look at what kind of landscape needs it has, um, common uses, deer resistant and butterfly gardens. In my Oakland yard, that's a win. Um, soil types that you'll need. So it's a way to look for how to create the butterfly garden that is appropriate to and specific to your location. And if you need more information, Calscape has a variety of pieces to look at, or there's more on the California Native Plant Society website. Thanks, Kathy.